What's up guys, Gun here. I hope this video finds you well. It is NFL Week 1 and that means so much, so much content coming your way. As promised last week, if you guys have been staying tuned to the channel, the rebrand to Gun Dacker Gaming, uh, so much exciting stuff and a lot of it is heart and soul backboned uh, by tons of NFL content. So this is... The Genesis, right? This is where uh, we begin. So if you guys have been following me for the last couple of years, I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. There's many more miles ahead. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the family. Welcome uh, to Gundacker Gaming. If you do like DFS content, even beyond NFL, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and leave some comments. We're going to do some um, fun stuff in the channel over the course of this NFL season, including a weekly PayPal giveaway. Uh, starting it off this week, $20 PayPal giveaway. Uh, all you got to do is on any video during the week, leave a uh, like, comment, and be a, be a subscriber to the channel. And every time you do that per video, it will be worth uh, one entry into a, a raffle giveaway on the Streamlabs generator. And every Monday when I do my recap video, sometimes it'll be Tuesday, uh, we'll, we will announce the winner of the PayPal $20 raffle giveaway. Also, we're doing a Battle Royale $1 uh, DraftKings winner take all tournament link to that will be in the pinned comment if you guys don't play on DraftKings and you're thinking about playing on DraftKings check out that pinned uh, comment and then of course in the description below there's gonna be a link to a free discord um, you guys can jump in there and hang out with me maybe tag me if you have some questions and of course last week we launched channel memberships right here on YouTube uh, a lot of a lot of other um, channels may have like Patreons and, and cool ways for you to go above and beyond and uh, support and interact with streamers and get a little bit more. That's kind of something YouTube has allowed me to do here on the in-house on the channel by having channel membership. So if you guys trust Google as a processor and you don't want to have to go into a, you know, a third-party application or anything like that, you guys can actually upgrade to a Gundacker Gaming membership right here. Hit that join button below. Uh, and then once you do that, if you have Discord, you can link your Discord to your uh, YouTube account. And that will actually unlock several uh, private uh, uh, text channels in the Gundacker Gaming Discord. Uh, and there will be a couple of uh, benefits. Uh, um, and I put up a channel membership video. It's the featured video on my channel. So I don't want to spend too much time here talking about it. But you will get some loose research spreadsheets, some early access to videos, some uh, exclusive live stream stuff like that, um, and some behind the wall strategy stuff. So a lot of cool, exciting stuff going on for the memberships. Uh, also, before we jump into quarterbacks today, this Sunday at lock. DFS tailgate. Hey, it's a crazy word out, world out there. I get it. COVID uh, may be keeping you away from the from B-dubs or Hooters or something like that. Fire up the computer, man. We'll have the YouTube chat open. We'll be sitting in here. I'll be uh, live streaming um, fantasy updates. And then, of course, uh, myself and the members of the RunDFS.com VIP voice chat will be hanging out, kicking and shooting the breeze, enjoying some... Um, I was going to say b-ball, but uh, enjoying some football. Uh, so be there for that. Uh, you guys can actually get a link to that video, that stream in the in the comment, in the the uh, description below. And you guys can actually set a reminder. So, so much great stuff coming this week uh, for football. What we're going to do here is I'm going to try and break down each position uh, per video. That way you guys can kind of stagger where I'm at uh, and not have to dedicate a full hour to hear me blabbering. So I'm going to give you a quarterback uh, video here and then look at the playlist which will be linked in the description below and then when at your convenience you can go through there and just kind of hear my early thoughts on each position so we're going to start things off at the quarterback position as always no matter what i say i am very interested to hear what you guys have to say who you guys are on maybe a reason why uh so in that 20 dollars paypal giveaway contest maybe below tell me what quarterbacks you like if you disagree with someone i like let me know um i'm very 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 open to hearing your thoughts and i think week one more than any week of the nfl season is as wide open as it's going to get when it comes to pricing when it comes to what we know and what we don't know about teams new personnel uh and how football will be without full stadiums of fans you know i know and 
MLB and uh, has piped in crowd noise and basketball has the, the the webcam walls and stuff like that. But I feel like NFL more so than any sport in, a, in a, an arena setting um, really relies on uh, crowd noise and crowd energy. Uh, and I think we could see some, you know, unquantifiable impacts on some of these games so i'm really curious to see stuff like that uh, i'll be talking about the the superdome the the new orleans game you know new orleans even minnesota kansas city we'll see that tonight like these are some notoriously loud stadiums that mess with other teams offensive timing snap count stuff like that um i, I i'm just I, I don't know how football nfl football will look uh in empty stadium so this is gonna be a weird at least start to a season so let's have some fun nonetheless tons of money out there we're going to be focused on draftkings.com draftkings pricing let's get going hey first quarterback i want to talk about right there at the tippy top 8.1k lamar jackson uh normally paying a price like this for a quarterback is something i really really don't like to do but we won't get much softer pricing for the rest of the year than nfl week one Therefore, I'm going to have quite a bit of Lamar Jackson, the MVP, uh, and I won't be forcing a handcuff for him for the most part, as his rushing floor provides quite uh, enough of a floor for me to uh, bank on him, knowing that I don't have to handcuff him to a guy that might get two of his touchdowns, because with that offense, it's very likely that nobody gets two touchdowns other than him, and maybe like Mark Ingram or something like that. If I was going to uh, handcuff Lamar Jackson to a pass catcher probably looking at Mark Andrews or Marquise Brown or something like that uh, but I will do a lot of what's called running the quarterback naked <laughs> in this one with Lamar Jackson so at 8.1k you guys you guys know what Jackson brings to the table what he doesn't do in the air he does on the ground look how many hundred or 80 plus yard rushing games we saw uh heck to close out last year 143 Tennessee 186 101 95 and of course on DraftKings you're getting a point per 10 yards rushing uh, and we know he has touchdown uh, rushing uh potential as well uh so if you give me a floor of nearly 10 from rushing and then all I need is 15 to 20 passing. Uh, I'll take that gamble all day long, all day strong. Give me Lamar Jackson. Uh, certainly going to be very, very easy to fit him in in just about every format. Uh, and I'm looking for him to, to build off what was an incredible uh, year last season. Uh, and I think he keeps it going. So 8.1K, you know, normal weeks, I got to think twice. This week, not so much. Next quarterback, Drew Brees. I talked about it. The Superdome could be a little bit different uh, with a... Uh, with with no crowd right um now i know some some stadiums are are opening up 20 to 30 percent i haven't digged into each uh stadium particularly but nonetheless uh, you know superdome it's not gonna be a hundred percent uh and being just 20 percent or 25 percent or whatever it might be and it might be zero percent i think a lot of teams are gonna decide to go zero percent uh, at least on week one I, it's gonna be different it really is but up until now, Superdome has been the Coors Field of NFL, and Drew Brees at home, especially to start the year, is something I'm very interested in, and he has a incredible onslaught of weapons this year. They've got Jared Cook as a, you know, just a meager uh, tight end that he can use, but they got Michael Thomas. They added Emmanuel Sanders, Alvin Kamara, looking like he's going to get what he wants and stick around for the ride. So Drew Brees has been just an uh, incredible quarterback. Uh, and if you can put him against an offense that might be as talented and, and as dangerous, I love the propensity for a shootout. I don't think I'm being contrarian here and talking about how this game could shoot out. Because we know the weapons of the Buccaneers and all of their incredible offseason moves. So I like Drew Brees at home to be ready, slinging it. 6.8K. He's a guy that averages, what, like 28 pass attempts at home, something like that. Uh, a lot of games uh, last season, you see he's pushing the 30 plus pass attempts. So it means he's going to keep the ball in the air, and there's a potential for 25, 30 fantasy points. And he's a guy that I can handcuff pretty easily uh, with uh, pass catchers. Now, there's two methods I think I'm going to approach. Uh, when uh, playing Drew Brees. Obviously, I'm going to have Brees and Michael Thomas handcuffs. Michael Thomas is a little bit expensive this week, but there's so much value in week one that it's really not going to be that hard for me to make happen. Uh, and I also like the idea of Emmanuel Sanders. I know uh, there's going to be a lot of wait and sees when it comes to some of these players uh, this week. And, I, and a lot of receivers that I'm on are going to be tongue-in-cheek wait and sees for the rest of the field. But as a pure tournament player, 
I want to get to these players before other people do. Um, so I think Emmanuel Sanders is a great handcuff to him. Jared Cook's a little bit more soft floory, but he could land in uh, the end zone for a pair of touchdowns. But if you think this game between the Bucks and the Saints uh, shoots out, and you think the Saints could have you know five to six, maybe five touchdowns, maybe six touchdowns, I think there's plenty of merit in um, handcuffing Breeze to Kamara and hoping you're throwing a net over all of the Saints' touchdowns, right? Whether it be passing or rushing. And it's not unlike Kamara as a pass catcher to maybe uh, catch one and take it to the house. Now, with that said, <laughs> look out for uh, Lat Lat Latavius, right? Uh, Latavius Murray to take one to the house. But uh, for the most part, uh, Drew Brees and Kamara handcuffs. I think I'll be running that a little bit to get a little funky, right? Uh, and I don't mind um, having some shares of Sanders. And then, of course, it's easy to run back positive correlations with guys like Godwin um, and some of the Bucks weapons, right? Maybe getting a little bit of uh, uh, faith in, in Gronk or something like that. Uh, next quarterback I'm going to talk about, hey, how about Jimmy Garoppolo? Well, first of all, let me let me just look at the quarterback pool here real quick. I tell you guys, uh, I think the Seahawks and, and uh, Falcons are going to be a uh, pretty popular game stack. And I don't like to be ultra obvious with these videos. And I know Lamar Jackson and Drew Brees feels ultra obvious, but it's week one and I couldn't get too much cuter. So the next two quarterbacks, I tasked myself to get a little bit cuter and a little bit uh, neck stretchy. But obviously you can play Tom Brady back at a Brees or you can play Matt Ryan at home. I think he averaged the most pass attempts per game last year. Um, in a game that might shoot out there in the Mercedes uh, Benz Dome. Uh, and Russell Wilson, you can run him back at 7K as well. Uh, I, I think some of those guys might get lost in the sauce just because it's so easy to get just about anyone you want if you really do your due diligence and, and identify those value plays. Um, but there's there's such a great selection um, at quarterback this week that um, more so than ever, I really want to key in on guys that can give me 25 to 30 fantasy points. And that's why Lamar Jackson and Drew Brees stood out the most uh, um, because there's ranges of outcomes uh, a little bit more that some of these other mid-tier guys um, may fall through a little bit more. Like I like Josh Allen. But that game projects to be low scoring. Buffalo should dominate. The Jets have the lowest total on the slate. So it's Josh Allen, somebody that more often than not in this scenario is going to give me 30 if it's not a game script that needs him uh, to go out there and do a whole lot. You know, maybe I don't feel super confident about that. So let's scroll down a little bit. I think Cam Newton's going to be very popular for cash games. Aaron Rodgers, 6-3K. When no one's thinking about him, that's the week to get him. I love him with Devontae Adams. Uh... All day long, all day strong, I think it's another great spot to uh, go out there. And um, I don't think it's a great spot, but it's another uh, great ownership spot to go out there and get Rodgers. I love getting Rodgers when, like, no one has him. Uh, but the two guys I want to focus on here, uh, I'm going to start with Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, 49ers quarterback. He's 5.8K, and he gets the Arizona Cardinals. Now, the his game log, if you go back to 2019, it's not super sexy for fantasy upside, but there's a couple of 30 bombs in there, including one against the team he's facing this week, the Arizona Cardinals. Um, at 5,800, I'm looking for a shot at 20 plus DKP in like single entry cash. And I like the Cardinals matchup for him. Uh, Arizona averaged the fourth fastest seconds per play. Uh, and that fast pace is going to create more drives, uh, more possessions, and hopefully more pass attempts for Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, falling in love with handcuffs for Jimmy G gets tricky past George Kittle. But at 7.2K, uh, George Kittle as a tight end, I can see a lot of people murmur against that, right? That's a lot to pay for a tight end. But if that was his wide receiver one, which it kind of is, I'm okay with that. So give me George Kittle handcuffed to Jimmy G. And maybe Jimmy G is at a re reduced enough price that can offset the Kittle uh, price point. I can see people getting skirmished on Kittle, um, but I won't be. Uh, the Cardinals allowed nearly 1,200 receiving yards to the tight end position last year. And a ridiculous 16 touchdowns. That's insane. George Kittle accounted for 23% of the 49ers red zone targets last season. Jimmy G and Kittle combined for over 50 fantasy points against the Cardinals last season. I think it's a great tournament spot uh, to put them together. And like I said, if you can get half halfway to a century mark on a you know a slate where we're probably looking for uh, 270, 280 in uh, big boy uh, tournaments, I'm there. Give me Jimmy G. Give me George Kittle. Try to think outside the box a little bit. Um, and then I want to get a little bit cheaper, right? I love, love paying down a quarterback every week. 
and there's just some cheapies here. If you look in the pool, Derek Carr, I think he's going to be a fun matchup. Carolina Panthers secondary. Now without James Bradbury, it's a transitional year. A lot of young, uh, unproven talent there. They could turn it together sooner or later. But Carr's not in a bad spot. Joe Burrow, not a great matchup for him, but he does have weapons. I'll be looking for him later, uh, but probably not this week. Um, Kirk Cousins, no Stefan Diggs, but uh, you know maybe he, that passing game uh, to Adam Thielen and throwing a little bit more to Dalvin Cook. And then, of course, I still think it's a good plus spot for his tight end situation. Uh, Baker Mayfield, not in a great spot, uh, but he, he's another guy I'll be looking at because he does have weapons. Um, how about we go down a little bit more? You see Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know he has tournament winning upside. He likes to win a Millie Maker once or twice a year. But the Pacers defense was really good last season. Let's scroll down a little bit more. How crazy is Dwayne Haskins at 5K? 5K. 15 to 20 fantasy points. And I'm golden. I don't. I don't want to portray this as a plus spot for him against the Eagles because the Eagles, I think, are going to be strong defensively. But I do think the game script is going to be super positive for Dwayne Haskins and the 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 Washington football team. I don't know if I called them the Redskins. The Washington football team last year to this year is very different philosophically, uh, age-wise, right? They cut in Adrian Peterson uh, and... I, I'm just a much bigger proponent and believer in Riverboat Ron Rivera's um, ability to bring out the best in a young quarterback and take chances, take gambles. Jay Gruden was famous for saying they play to not lose the game or whatever. Ron Rivera is going to try and play to win. And I think Dwayne Haskins at 5K, I don't need a whole lot. Like I, I almost don't need a 300-yard passing game. Not that I expect one. But can I get 250 yards, two to three touchdowns? Maybe he runs for a little bit. You know, last year he had 20 fantasy points against the Eagles. Um, I think it's worth a gamble for me. And I love Terry McLaurin. Uh, he loves Terry McLaurin. So I'm going to handcuff a, a lot of tournament lineups. Uh, maybe not a lot, but a, a good portion of tournament lineups uh, versus the field. With Haskins to McLaurin, uh, I know a lot of hypes on Antonio Gibson as well. I'm going to dive a little deeper into what I want to do with that situation. Uh, but game script is in his favor. He's a road dog. That means they're going to be passing, playing from behind. Uh, whether you know he throws a pick six or whatever, I'm going to like the Eagles defense here on paper. Um, I think the Eagles last year were one of the teams you could take the top off, right? They, you know, good edge rush, uh, good against the run, but they were leaky to the long ball. They did trade for Darius Slay. I think they added um, Nickel Roby as a slot corner. It has to be an improvement, but... Darius Slay metrically wasn't like stunning last year, right? It wasn't the Darius Slay of yesteryear. So I still think there's merit and volume and opportunity for Haskins to McLaurin to, you know, meet up a couple times here. And maybe uh, Ron Rivera surprises people. He has Haskins ready um, to kind of shock you. And what I like the most about Haskins and McLaurin, if you put them together, uh, it combined for 10.6K, leaving you 5.6K plus for everything else you can go out there and stack your high-end running backs your cmcs your cooks guys like that and there's still plenty of room to go around defense stuff like that so you could probably get this to an average of six five seven k per uh if you get a 3k defense and a 3k tight end so just thinking out loud here uh jack doyle uh and then maybe something like the colts right six five so it's pushing it so I, I do think it's a cheap combo that doesn't have to do a whole lot in a spot that isn't crazy in a game script that should be super favorable for the most part so those are a couple of the tight ends uh that i'm thinking or excuse me those are a couple of the quarterbacks that i'm thinking about early on uh, i would love to know who you guys are keen on um again i was trying not to be super obvious i think there's a lot of fun quarterbacks in tough matchups kyler murray um who else? Aaron Rodgers, we mentioned him. Uh, Matthew Stafford, again, tough matchup, right? The Bears project pretty well defensively. Maybe Mitch Trubisky keeps putting the Bears defense in tough spots and Stafford to Galladay or something like that can pop off. But um, quarterback is really interesting this week. There's a lot of fun matchups to break down. Um, but that's where I'm at uh, at early look. Uh, I will probably try and update 
an overall thought on the slate uh, at each position in one video as we get closer to Sunday. Uh, whether or not that'll be a membership video or not remains to be seen, but I'll let you know on Twitter. So if you guys got anything else for me, twitter.com slash gundecker sports, uh, look out for the running back video. Uh, if you guys haven't done so already, hit that thumbs up, show me some love. I love you guys. Hope you crush it this weekend. Good luck. God bless. Go in some money.